Hey boss, I was wondering if I could have a segment on your show, you know, like the old times, so... Uh, come on, man, what do you say? For old times' sake. Oh, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. I cannot express in enough ways how much I don't want you on my show. So I'm going to say no in a bunch of different ways. Here's English. No. Here's Markish. No. Here's Triple H. No. Uh, here's Spanish. No. Here's Japanese. No. So, get out. Aww. <sighs> I don't, don't want to. I hate them. It's me, it's me, it's the Josh Ritchie, and it is time for the WTF moments for UCW Insanity. And we are going to start off on a positive note. The commentary team was actually excited and thrilled. They were actually good for this episode, so I applaud you all. I applaud you all. Eric Rowan appeared on UCW, WTF. Was it just me? Or is it really, really hard to tell the difference between Shane Alexander and Nina Young? Well, they look almost exactly the same, except for a change, a few changing colors. I mean, about five minutes in, I couldn't tell them apart until the commentators told me who they were. Thank you, commentators, on that. Good job on you. But they just look the same. Although the commentary was good, the mics they were using were the opposite of good. They kept on popping when they were getting really excited. Which is the worst time for them to pop because they're getting really excited. You guys hype for the match. WTF. Finish your kick out at two. Finish your kick out at two. Finish your kick out at two. Big move kick out at two. Big move kick out at two. Finish your kick out at two. I just have one question for all of you mother flippers. When did WWE superstar John Cena get skinnier and lankier, start wearing actual wrestling gear, the tights and the boots and whatnot, and started painting his face like a combination of Sting and Black hair on? That's right, everyone. Shane Alexander all of a sudden turned into John Cena. Now I'm a fan as much as the next guy for false finishes during a match to hype up tension and excitement, but there is such thing as overdoing it, as doing too much, as exceeding the limit, and that's kind of what this match did. There were, I believe, way too many false finishers, and towards the end I just stopped getting excited for them. So, good match, stop doing so many false finishers. <laughs> it's a Mark and moment, everyone! Get in there! It's the first one ever! I can't believe it! Yeah. <sighs> that match quality between DJ and Shane was pretty lit AF, was it not? Yeah, it was It was pretty good. Next up on these WTF moments, the audio for the Alex G promo just wasn't there. They had to do the subtitles and everything to fill it in because there was no audio. Now, normally I just let these things by, but... <laughs> Not anymore, and there's only one person to blame, and that person is Brian the Brain. Brian, you naughty little bastard. <laughs> one of the commentators, DJ Young one, I believe. I don't know who. I don't, I don't know who the commentators were, but I don't care. One of the commentators say, well, they said, XPW doesn't matter because it's dead. Ooh. Human centipede. Jesus! 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 Wouldn't you believe it, everyone? That cruiserweight battle royal got a job or entrance just like the battle royal from Rampage the other night. You're really doing a good job of making all of us care about those competitors, aren't you? Alice Bates wins a big match. WTF! Alice Bates, you little prick! You are not the Undertaker. You are not the American Badass. You are not even remotely close to it. And to top it all off, where did that motorcycle come from? It wasn't there during the match and all of a sudden, boom, it was there. Where did it come from? How did it get up there? How did no one see it come into the arena? Why was Kyle riding on it? Tons of questions with no answers that we'll probably never get the answers to. Bah! It's a Marco moment, everyone. Get in there. Get in there. 
Polito got his little Deadpool squash by Chase them. <laughs> and Matty Owen, who just loves seeing Leo get his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> As Catherine, the current Diamonds champion, was walking out, one of the commentators, I don't know who they are, said that if she loses tonight, then it'll probably be the shortest time to reign in ECW history. That, sir, is wrong. I know that's not the shortest time to reign. She's had it for a while. I don't know all of the shortest time to reign, but I do know one for sure is one certain Alice Page who lost the Intercontinental title after about a week or so. <laughs> <laughs> remember that, Alice? Of course you do. We all do. We all remember all your failures that we're going to remember forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Big time Jake made Jose tap in the main event WCW show. WTF. It looks like big time Jake being made to look strong because he just made a Jose tap like a bitch. <laughs> Don't take offense to that, Jose. This is all funny. If you take this seriously, then something's wrong with your life. You need to get it taken care of. <laughs> And that'll be it for all of your WTF moments. My name is The Josh Ritchie. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also to my channel called The Josh Ritchie Show to see me more often because you all all of you know you want to see me. So subscribe to me, subscribe to this channel, and I'll do this more later. <laughs>